How's it going, Dave and Comic Book Investments? So, it is time. The time has come. I must finally do this. Um, I tried to hold out as long as I possibly could, but I can't do it any longer. Um, for about two years now, if you guys don't notice, over at my website, collectorscomics.com, I've been running featured auctions. And uh, yeah, it's been about two years. And we just had our biggest one yet. So thank you for everyone. Um, doing the finalizing numbers, but it, it was almost half a million dollars in sales. It was like 430,000, I believe. And we had, I think around like t t over 2,300 listings. So thank you for everyone participated. Everyone's been growing since more and more. I, I can't remember the first one off the top of my head, but I think it was like a hundred and something thousand dollars. Um, and I think we only had like 500 items in our auction. So it's been two years. We do them every quarter. Um, but now it's finally uh, the end. It is the end of the 0%. So as you guys know, anyone that can sign, we did 0%. Yes, 0% fees. That means no buyer's premium, no seller's fees, no listing fees, nothing. We did it 100% free. So that means if it went for $1,000, you got a thousand dollars. We took nothing, and we did that to build trust, to uh, better work on our site, um, and figure out bugs and all that kind of stuff. And we were the new guys, and we wanted to prove to you that we could do it. And so I think we have. We've done about two million dollars since uh, for free. Yes, about two million dollars, um, and of consignments over the over the two years so now we can no longer do that so we are actually going to charge for our featured auctions just the featured auctions if you want to use our marketplace you know list stuff as like a buy it now that's still 100 percent free we are not charging for that at all um but you know doing these featured auctions it's a lot of work and in order to grow we are going to have to start charging we're going to start charging five percent um, which is vastly cheaper than everyone else. And yeah, here's the thing. There is a maximum fee. So anything, um, well, our max fee will be $500. So basically anything that you sell that is, was that $10,000, right? Yeah. If I'm doing the math, right. Anything above $10,000 will just be, um, 500 bucks. So if you sell something that goes for $50,000, it's $500. You give us a fancy 15. It's just going to be 500 bucks. That's it. We do have a minimum charge, which will be $5. So every order will be $5 or 5%, whichever is greater. So if you send us something and it, and it sells for like 50 bucks, it's going to be $5. If you sell, you know, basically right at the hundred dollar mark, that's when it will kind of kick in the 5%. So it's not $5 plus 5%. It's just $5 or 5%, whichever is greater. So basically anything under a hundred bucks will be like $5. So if you sell something for, you know, whatever, uh, like $150, that's going to be like what? 750. I think the math is at 5%. So yeah, still vastly cheaper than everywhere else. I mean, eBay, if you're looking at eBay, you're probably, all said and done, it's going to be about a little over 15%. Like I know my numbers are um, like 15.6% like for the year. Every year is around 15 point something percent in total when you add up all the fees that you have to pay, listing fees, you know, just the store fees, everything. It calculates it all for you and tells you how much you pay. So it's about 15% paying processing fees, all that stuff. Heritage is like 35% and it could be a little lower depending on the quality of stuff you give them. But if you're giving them stuff under a thousand bucks, you're gonna be paying 35%. It's 20% to buyer's premium and then 15% seller's fee. And yeah, it's crazy. Like that's a lot of money. Now, if you're giving them something like an action one, they give this thing called a negative percent, which is, Basically, it cuts into the buyer's premium. So you can get like, ne I've gotten like negative five before. So basically, I have negative 5% seller fees, but then you have a 20% buyer's premium. So it's really 15%. In the end, buyer's premium, seller fees makes no difference. What matters is what's coming to you, the bottom line, what's coming to you when you give them a comic to sell. So yeah, we're at 5%. So definitely like the cheapest everywhere. Um, check out our fee schedule. Uh, for 
uh, raw comic books, it's a $10 minimum, but it's still that 5%. So if you give us something over, you know, whatever price, it's, it's going to be just 5%, but it is a $10 minimum because usually we get a lot of raw stuff and it takes longer to go through check for restoration, all that kind of stuff. And there's more risk on our part, uh, just for the simple fact that what if I miss restoration when I'm checking it out and you know, then someone complains, well, that's on me. Um, so then I'll have to refund them and out of us personally. So, um, yeah, so there's a little more risk. That's why it's a $10 minimum, but I think that this money will help us grow. You know, it, it costs a lot to run the website. And so if we're doing it for free, you know, so this will help us add more value to the website, build out different features, fix different things, all sorts of stuff, and just, you know, be able to hire to get the books out faster, things like that. We're still faster than every other auction house. Um, like, I think I did a video on this comic link after I paid for a book well like a couple weeks after the auction ended because i know right in the beginning that's the thing is like right in the beginning everyone pays all at once so it's like we have to get through everyone's stuff um but i waited a couple weeks paid for comics link stuff took two and a half months to get one book forever i mean heritage is about a month out maybe sometimes if you're lucky two weeks out but usually like a month out after you pay um but yeah i mean other places are just as long if not longer so we're about a week under a week, actually, depending on when you pay. Usually as soon as the auction ends, we get probably like 80% of the people paid. And so if you're one of the very, very first, then you go out the very, very next day. But obviously if you're a little later, then it takes a little. But yeah, so we're going to be 5%. Uh, thank you for everyone who's participated. Like I said, $2 million. We did $2 million for free. I mean, how many other companies out there will do that? Like none. I remember, uh, was it? I think it was Golden. They contacted me and they're like, you're crazy. You're doing this all for free. There's got to be a catch. I was like, no, no catch. Everyone, I you, countless emails is like, you're trying to scam people. I'm like, not scamming people, literally just doing it for free just to show you what we can do. And yeah, but now the time has come. The thing is we've gotten, I never thought we would get this much stuff. I was just like, oh, we're probably going to get barely anything. But like we did almost half a million dollars in the last auction, which is huge. That's like is almost as big as like some of the big people out there doing auctions. So it's half a million dollars. And then we got almost 2,500 listings. And we even had to like tell people like, hey, we can't take all this stuff. We got way more than that, but we couldn't, there's just no way we could manpower through it. So anyone that sent us stuff that was before, we sent out an email and had a blog post before this date, pretty much. If it, this stuff is already here or it's already in the mail, then before this date, so 8, 8.30, I think it is, August 30th, um, you guys will still be 0% because you sent it under the notion that it's going to be, you know, 0%. So, but anybody after, so basically this video, eight, August 30th and above, um, is going to be a 5%. Um, I think that's pretty fair and it's, you know, it's going to help us. So thank you for all the people that have tried. I hope that you guys continue to use us, the people that have used us and you enjoy our process. Obviously, we're trying to get better and better every single time. Every auction, we improve our process and improve the website. We listen to people out there, hey, this didn't work, that didn't work. I'll go, oh, okay, thank you, we'll fix that, things like that. So we're always trying to make it better and better. And just having money is just gonna help us do that. So, and we can't be free forever. This day was always gonna come. Um, I think, I thought originally we were gonna try for two years, which we did pretty much almost make two years. Um, but it's just we've been getting so much stuff. So I hope you guys continue to use us. Uh, we basically just want to be the best place out there for collectors and dealers, um, resellers, whatever you want to call them, people to like buy and sell comic books. We want to make it really easy. And like I said, the marketplace is still 100% free. It says when people are featured auctions, you know, we physically have to go through this, house it, all that kind of stuff. So that's, I think, justifying the 5% as opposed to the, the uh, marketplace, it's, we don't charge anything because we're, we're not doing anything. We're not physically doing any labor. People list it themselves and other people buy it. We've had people buy stuff. Um, and yeah, so we, so yeah, it's been crazy. I can't believe, uh, $2 million, two years, basically when we started this and hopefully we'll continue to grow and, uh, you know, 
be better than the other alternatives out there. And yeah, so that's it. That's all I want to announce. Um, everyone that participated, thank you again. We'll have oh, open for consignments for our next auction and just go to our website, collectorscommerce.com. There's links everywhere to fill out a form. Pretty easy. We have it really easy. All you do is just type in the serial number and then boom, uh, everything pops up for you. And then you ship it to us and we take care of the rest. We take pictures, list it, all that kind of stuff and ship it to the buyer, collect the money. And then we usually do our first payment two weeks after the auction. So a lot of people ask, it's all in our frequently asked questions, but two weeks after the auction ended, that's when we do our first payment. And then it's every week after that. So, so usually that Monday that it ends, because it's over the weekend, two weeks from that Monday, and then every single Monday we'll pay out and Usually we ask someone if they are, because not everyone pays for everything. So not all the consignments are paid for. So we ask if they want to wait until it's all paid for, or we just pay them in payments. And usually like, for example, we're almost two weeks out, um, from the date that the auction ended. it's been about 10 days and we have probably 95% of the stuff paid for. So almost all of it. So I would imagine, you know, the rest of the 5% is going to trickle in over the next couple weeks. Um, but yeah, so we'll get you guys paid, uh, starting Monday and yeah, have a good day.